What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. We've got another battery review for you for today. This is the Power Queen self-heating 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery. Some of you might be familiar with this, but it just came into Canada, so I'm going to check it out for you today. Um, like I said, it's the self-heating. This has uh, built-in heaters that come on at 5 degrees Celsius if you were trying to charge, and they shut off at 10 degrees Celsius once the cells are warmed up. That's about 40 and 50 degrees Fahrenheit. So we're going to test that. It's below freezing today, but I still might stick it in the little mini freezer here just to get it cooled off a little bit faster because these batteries do take a long time to get down to temperature. I put this in the freezer at about minus 15 for 24 hours, and it's still charged because the internal temperature wasn't quite there. About 12 hours later, it did uh, lock itself out on low temp, so we'll get it nice and frozen. First, we're going to start with the capacity test. I'm going to run the heater out here in the garage on the usual Renogy 1000 watts. So we'll hook the shunt up and just see how much capacity we can pull. Um, should do pretty good. Good. These Power Queens are always pretty, pretty solid batteries, so shouldn't be any surprises there. But we'll run the discharge, and then we'll get this thing nice and cool and uh, test out that self-heating feature. Okay, we're all hooked up for the discharge test. I've got the shunt on here. You can see we're sitting at 14 volts. This thing just came off the charger, so we'll get it started. Running a little bit of heat in the garage. We're gonna run it on low at about 700 watts. It would help if I turn that on. There we go. Got it on low, set for 72. It's about 48 degrees in here, so. That's not going to be shutting off on temperature anytime soon. Let's see, we're pulling the voltage down. And we're pulling about 57 amps. So we'll let that run for a little while and we'll come back and check on it. All right, guys, that's pretty much going to do it for the capacity test. We ran the heater until I got the low voltage alarm on the inverter and then just a couple light loads on it to get down to that last little bit. So. I started this at 115 amp hours and we're sitting at 11.6. So we did pull beyond rated capacity, which is always good to see. You're getting a good bang for your buck. We got almost 104 amp hours and it is still going. It'll go a tiny bit further, but it's about to uh, get to that mark again. So I'm going to shut it off and call it good. We will get the battery outside for a bit and then throw it in the freezer overnight. And tomorrow morning we can do the uh, low temp protection test. All right, guys, it's been pretty close to 36 hours, so we're going to put the charger on. I don't know if you can see how frosty those terminals are, but it's definitely cold in here. Um, I tried at 24 hours, and it did try to charge the battery, so hopefully this is enough. And the charger does come on, but I just want to check... Okay, so it looks like the charger is powering the heaters right now, not charging the battery. This is a 20 amp charger, and it's only putting in about 6.5 amps. So I have a feeling that's just powering the heaters. I don't think it's charging the battery. So I'm going to let that run for another 10 minutes or so and just see if we see any heaters coming on. I'll grab the thermal camera and see what it looks like. Fingers crossed we're not charging right now. Okay, so the charger's been running for about 10 minutes, maybe closer to 7 or 8, but we don't have a ton of heat in the front of the battery just yet, maybe a tiny bit, but uh, if I get right down here on the floor, you can see we have a ton of heat right in the bottom, so looks like this one has a heating pad definitely on the bottom of the cell, uh, or sorry, on the bottom of the battery pack. I might turn it around and just see if there's anything on the back here. Might as well do that now. Oh, this thing is fully frozen. Look at how frosty that is. And no, no heaters in the back. Let's tip it over. But actually, you can see where the frost is actually thawed already from that heater. So lots of heat coming off of that guy. We've got about 63 there in the middle. Yeah, that's pretty warm, actually, to the touch compared to the absolute ice cube that the rest of the battery is. So that's good to see. It does lock out the charging, and the heaters do work, or at least heater. That's only the only one I see at this point, but uh, yeah, that's a good sign. All right, guys, well, it's the next day. The Power Queen Auto Heating 100 Amp Hour battery has fully thawed out. We're just charging on a little 100 amp panel in the driveway here with the little Victron 120. So 
this battery did pretty good. Aside from the heating and stuff like that, this is pretty much the same battery Power Queen's been putting out for a number of years now. So I'm not going to really get into the discharge and, uh, you know, max discharge, stuff like that in this video. I think the next video I want to do on one of these batteries is I'm going to try to build a little enclosure in my shed, uh, maybe out of that styrofoam insulation board with a really small heater inside and just see sort of what you need how much panel, how much battery you need to keep in an unheated space like that to run like a really small heater and just keep the little battery enclosure above freezing at all times. So if you didn't have an auto heating battery like this, you could still have power in like a shed or an unheated garage, something like that. So keep an eye for that video. That's obviously not going to be in this one, but uh, that's kind of my plans for these batteries in the future. I'm going to make something like that. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll have a link to this down below. Like I said, this is their auto heating version. So check it out on the website if you're interested. Um, as always, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time.